Jacob Verana had a very, very interesting comment regarding the Detroit Red Wings. Captain Paul for the locker room. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. There was an article on thehockeynews.com that I will link down below. Let's get into the comment that is getting a little bit of pushback from Detroit fans. And this is him talking about his demons and why he stepped away and got into the personal assistance program. I think every little thing like that, everything that comes to your life somehow, you either learn from it or it takes you down. It puts you down on your knees and keeps you there. I learned from it. I had some challenges in my life, I'm not gonna lie, we all do. But I stand up and I look face to face to them. I still think I did the right thing in seeking help. Some people didn't like that and they didn't accept it. It's their decision and everything negative and bad is sometimes for the good. Now I'm here and it's a new opportunity. I cannot be happier than to join this club. I will have the article down below so you can read the whole story. Some Detroit fans weren't happy about this quote. I can kind of understand that. I think it's taken a little bit out of context once you read the whole article. But I'll be fair, Jacob Verona does sound tone deaf. The Detroit Red Wings didn't give up on him for a lack of trying. They had him on their team for three seasons. In a total of those three seasons, he only played 42 games, registered 22 goals with a total of 32 points. While the point per game production is there, his availability is not. When I read this article and some of the quotes in it, while he did say there was some really nice people in the Red Wings organization, it does seem that he's taking a lack of accountability. Now I will have this caveat. I understand people have their own personal issues and hopefully he got the help he needed and he will have a long successful career in the NHL because he's only 27. He can play at least another decade and be extremely productive. But let's also be very fair here. Detroit gave him every opportunity to be successful as a Red Wing. They're one of these organizations that give guys like Bobby Ryan and other players second and third chances where other teams would not sign them. Jacob Verana, when dealt from Washington, did kind of had a little bit of a negative stigma towards him. And it wasn't just that he was a streaky goal scorer, is that there could be some off ice issues as well. So let's not forget that. Now, thus far for the St. Louis Blues in nine games, he has five goals, one assist for six points. He's had a pretty solid start to his St. Louis Blue career. But I don't think it's really fair to blame an organization for your own personal failings. Unless an article comes out that the Detroit Red Wings were very detrimental to his health, I'm kind of siding with Detroit fans on this. This is a guy that you traded for in the 2021 season. You kept around until this season. It wasn't for a lack of you not wanting to play him. He just was not available. We'll see how this plays out in the long run. I think it was better off that both parties separated. It feels like Detroit was just kind of done with him at that point. He gets a fresh start in St. Louis. Hopefully by being in the player's assistance program, getting the help he needs, he can now look at things through their proper lens. You are playing in the best hockey league in the world. You're one of the best players in the world. All the most talented players come to the NHL because it's the cream of the crop. You need to have your life in order if you want to be successful. And I'm hoping from this point forward, he doesn't take this chance for granted. I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are down below. I'm Captain Paul. I'll see you in the next video.